Hello everyone and greetings from Ramanujan College. Today I, Nidhi Mathur, will take your session on the recruitment rules for non-teaching employees. I am sure that most of you have seen the latest recruitment rules for the non-teaching staff that were notified last year. My dear friends, it is a 253 page document to be precise and hence requires a considerable amount of time for discussion. In this regard, in the videos, I have only emphasized on the important aspects of the recruitment rules. Also, after having a careful understanding of the participants who have enrolled in this workshop, only those posts have been discussed, which the participants can relate to. But before we go ahead and discuss the different type of posts under Group A, Group B, and Group C, let us more delve into the new recruitment rules that have been notified. As you all know, the Executive Council of the University of Delhi has made the rules for regulating the method of recruitment to non-teaching posts in the University of Delhi and its colleges. There are different ways in which the non-teaching posts can be filled up. First is via promotions. Second is via limited departmental examinations. Third is through direct recruitment. And the last is via deputation. Under all these four pointers, there are certain rules. Let's discuss one by one in detail. The Departmental Promotion Committee will meet at least once in a year before the starting of the recruitment year so that they can prepare a panel for the upcoming recruitments. The promotions for groups B and C will be based on seniority come fitness. Next, quality of annual confidential reports, which is nothing but AC, AR reports, which are known as APARs also, and vigilance clearance. So the promotion is based on three aspects, seniority come fitness, quality of your APAR, and vigilance clearance. The next pointer is for the promotion of employees, the eligibility and qualifications will be the same that has been prescribed before these rules have been revised. The next is, which is very important and needs to be understood and carefully taken into consideration is that Training is being made compulsory for majority of the posts to be filled via promotions. Hence, the colleges and the university authorities have to ensure that trainings are conducted on a regular basis. The requirement of your training can be relaxed if necessary training has not been conducted by the university or the college, but this is subject to fulfillment of other eligibility requirements. Next, fourth pointer would be benchmarking for appearing in limited departmental examinations should be very good with effect from 2016 to 2017 onwards and good for the preceding period in the APARs. The next is the limited departmental examinations shall be held once in every year. In a circumstance or in a case where the limited departmental examination is not held consecutively for two years, despite of a vacancy, then these vacant positions may be filled on a temporary basis via promotions or till the time the post is filled on a regular basis. The next recruitment rule is 
in case the position cannot be filled with the prescribed mode of appointment as mentioned in the schedule then the same post may be filled through either deputation or short term contract basis for this applications can be invited from the persons in the universities higher education institutions public sector undertakings etc and only those people who are holding similar or analogous positions there or they are holding a position which is one rank below and also they are fulfilling the prescribed eligibility requirements for recruitment the next rule is if in case there is an unforeseen vacancy or a vacancy has been created due to a person going on deputation or leave then that position may be filled on a temporary basis by promotion till the post is filled on a regular basis or till the time the person or the incumbent has resumed his or her duty this was it in today's or this lecture in the next lecture we will be seeing the different type of posts under group a category thank you